it's Wednesday morning I think and we are up at Martindale uh, on the east side of Ullswater and we're by St Paul's Church which is in here somewhere and first of all today is a quick hop skip up Hallinfell It is the summit of Hallinfell. Okay. Is that official? Yeah. You have to step in the steps. All of them. Just on our way down Hallinfell. Keeping in the steps, apparently. Um, but we often get asked what's a good fell for people to start on, see whether they like it, something that's not too difficult. Um, and lots of people say cat bells as a first one, but I think that's quite a tough walk, cat bells as your first one. This, however, Hallin Fell from Martindale, from St Paul's Church, is a lovely little walk up a nice green, gently sloping soft grassy path path's dead easy to follow great views from the top it's only what was it joe half an hour 40 minutes to get up um and if at any time you had enough you know it's dead easy just to follow your path back down retrace your steps um way shorter and easier than cat bells um in my opinion so if anyone's looking for a first fell Get this on your shortlist, I think it'll uh, be a good one to cut your teeth on. Two thirds of the way down off Hallin Fell, um, and just thought, well, we can see here. I'll show where we're aiming for next. So the cars down here, down beneath us, is the church. Can you see that? There we go. There's the church, cars further down here. We head off, uh, set up the side of this one, and then we zigzag up uh, Allen Crag. I think it is Ardcrag up to Peterfell and then we loop round the back right up to the head of the valley and then we come back down the middle of that valley back round. That's the intention so we'll see. Uh, I think it's about nine miles including this little half a mile bit here um, so it could be a good good long day out. Well, this is very pretty. These are great little crags to climb up. Finally a bit of fun, Macca. I hate going down to have to go back up again. <laughs> so that, guys, is Wainwright 136. Better fowl. Better fowl. <laughs> Better be the potato potato. Better. 136 done. 136, better fowl. Lovely walk so far, very windy. I'm going a bit chilly now. <laughs> Let's get out the wind. On to the next one, which is right over there. Just while we're here, we can see our path running down somewhere over there. You can see the camera better than I can in the screen. How peaceful this is. No one else is up here. And we're just pottering along the ridge path up to the next uh, Wayne right. It's lovely. Angletown Pike. Pike, apparently. Pike. Do you want to take over? Is this about you or is it, was it about me? It's about you, of course it is. It was lovely and peaceful anyway. I love that sound. So we're up on the summit ridge now. We've just got to find which is the summit 
of Angle Tarn Pikes. That looks like the highest point, doesn't it? So we'll come back to you when we know. Okay, hopefully this is the final push for the summit. Fingers crossed. Top of Angle Tarn Pikes. What a view! Brothers Water. Bulls Water. Glen Ridding, Patterdale. Hell Ellen. 360 degree views. So how was your table reservation? Hmm. Huh. Alright. As lunch spots go. It'll do. We don't get any better than that, I don't think. Actually I think it is one of the best we've had. I think Rich thinks he's descending Everest. The poles are out. The poles are out. Knee protection, Dalek. <laughs> Is that knee as in a Scottish knee or literally your knees and toes? Knees and toes. Knees and toes. Right. Jog on then. If I'm a guessing woman, I think we're about five minutes off him telling me those poles are too high. Watch this space. Rather a pretty descent, isn't it? I think it might just be about to drop right off the edge of the earth. Literally, down there, it just goes vertical. Might have exaggerated a little bit, it's not gone vertical, but it's pretty steep. You take your time, Grandad. Don't want you doing your knees any damage at your age. We are absolutely stomping our way down this mountain. I don't think we've ever walked so fast downhill. Tres Magnifique descent. So let's have a little bet. I think we're going to be down by 6.30. Rick thinks we're going to be down by 7. So who's up for if we're down at 6.30? Rick has to buy the pint. And if we're down at 7, obviously, he still has to buy the pint. <laughs> What time do you think we'll be done? 7.30. 730. Well, we'll see. Either way, you're buying the pint. <laughs> Kel surprise. Yes. We've all heard the saying, the end of the road. Well, we are literally at the end of the road. Because that's the farmer's track and farmer's house. And that is the end of the road. There you go, mad facts of the day. I'm such an easily pleased child. We're just on the last bit of descent now, but uh, just saying what a fantastic time of night to just descend around this five, six, seven o'clock mark. It's just so peaceful and really, really pretty. So we are just back at the car and a uh, nice little climb just to get back up here and I can confirm the time is 6.22 p.m. So I am a chicken, chicken dinner, winner, winner. Oh, hello, <laughs> hello loser. Hello. Are you sure it's only 6.20? I'm positive. Right. Yeah, so uh, beers are on him. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, hi. So no, not only was that a fantastic 10 mile walk, but we're now sat at the Pilly Bridge. I have a glass of vino, but I also have the best dirty, filthy pork scratchings in the world. For anyone that's not had them, these traditional pork scratchings are from the Black Country. Um, so it's where I come from, down in Birmingham. And they are the best served with uh, Worcester sauce. So I'm now tucking in and I think I've burnt about 2,000 calories and I'm about to eat every single one of them and love every single mouthful. Fantastic day, good to be back.